My name is São Luís Castro and I am a professor of psychology at the University of Porto, Portugal. In this project we wanted to find out whether a short-term and collective music practice would be sufficient to induce behavioral benefits outside of the domain of music and we were especially interested in language processing and in reading. We were also interested in seeing whether these benefits would be associated with brain correlates that we measured through VBM, or voxel-based morphometry, and resting state connectivity. We were able to establish that this short-term music training was able to induce behavioral benefits at several levels, in rhythm processing, in visual short-term memory, in reading, uh, pseudo-words, that is phonological processing, and also in simple arithmetics. Interestingly, uh, we also were able to establish a link between the improvement in uh, motor dexterity and bimanual coordination that was quite strong in the music group in comparison with the other two groups. In our study we wanted to go beyond correlational findings and that's why we used a longitudinal training procedure so that we could establish causal or causal-like relationships between training and their effects. Um, and for that purpose we compared the music training for about six months with sports training in about the same amount and a standard control group or a passive control group. We were able to establish indeed behavioral benefits of the music training outside of the music domain. Actually in the music domain we were able to find uh, strong benefits in rhythm processing, also in uh, the, uh, visual, uh, spatial visual me short-term memory, uh, also in uh, reading the phonological processing or reading pseudo-words and simple arithmetics. We were also able to establish that those changes were correlated with brain changes. We could also establish interesting brain behavior links, namely uh, uh, between the recognition of emotional prosody and uh, resting state connectivity. Indeed, we found that uh, uh, children who have better recognition of emotional prosody, they also have more a resting state interconnectivity um, that, that could be interpreted as a sensory motor link in the processing of emotional prosody. And we also established that uh, um, the relationship between brain and reading ability was not contaminated by uh, IQ differences, but it was modulated by uh, social economic status. Indeed, that's a paper that was just published in Brain uh, structure and function. If I had to define the Al Foundation with a word, it would be essential.